There are two works in the bedroom here that I think obviously relate to each other in a very clear way, although they come from a totally different uh, different point of view. This Annette Lawrence work and then a work by Romeo Polka behind you, Thomas. Uh, in the case of Annette's work, it, it ultimately is dealing with systems and, and se sequences, but in a very, very personal way. In this case, it's uh, chronicling her menstrual cycle over a period of time, which obviously is among the most personal um, things you can talk about. Uh, and the you Opalka, know, as opposed to Annette Lawrence, is uh, a sequence of numbers that began in the 60s and continues to this day. And it's about his obsessive, compulsive method of making an artwork, which essentially is to, to write these numbers across there uh, in a way, in, the, in this very subtle way that describes what his life's work is, which is essentially making these numbers. Let's think about Mona Hattum's plus and minus, mm -hmm. works that are never ending in the sense that they're never finished. This work will be finished when he dies. Mm -hmm. That will be, the, it'll be finished somewhere along uh, in the hundreds of thousands, and, and that's why the work I think is titled From Zero to Infinity. Mm -hmm. 